you guys for continuing on with this box. And as you can see, I've done a little bit to it um, since we left off last. And um, I glued the larger heart down with some E6000. And I added this little bead to the front. It was a button, and I just cut off the back piece to it and then added a little tassel. So Grandma had something to, you know, grab when she was pulling up on it. I pulled out a ton more stuff since we last talked, because like I said, I've noticed that I'm like a really messy crafter. Um, I like to grab everything out all at once and throw it all over the place around me to inspire me and get my brain going. I don't know if anybody else crafts that way. Um, I really admire you ladies that can craft and keep it clean, because I don't know how you do that. I am like amazed completely amazed. Um, I'm actually going to lean in front of the camera, so I apologize for this guy. I think I might use him. Not quite sure yet. It's kind of shabby chic flower with the feathers. Um, I believe I got it at Michael's. So again, throwing everything out on the desk, trying to... That's just how I do. So I hope everyone's having a crafty week and an amazing weekend. I am... Mm. I'm going to start painting. Now, the, these wood pieces aren't glued down yet. I just kind of stuck them around to see if that's where I wanted them. Kind of like it. Documented memories, love deeply, the little love letter up here. And I think I'm going to fill the center of the heart flowers. See? I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Haven't gotten that far. Working on it. So I have my cup of coffee. And I hope you all join me. as I burn my lip and I am looking for something as I'm stalling here and I can't remember for the life of me what I'm looking for. Oh, paintbrush. Simple stuff, right? Okay. So we went to the Renaissance Fair today, which I've never done. And that was a lot of fun. Um, apparently this is something that Jason's sister does with their husband every year. It was their first date. And so it's kind of tradition for them to go right around her birthday, which is the 24th. And um, so we all went together as a family. The kids had a blast. I cannot believe I stood on my foot for six hour, feet for six hours. Um, I was pretty close to needing a wheelchair halfway through because I was in a lot of pain. But it was a lot of fun. Big old turkey legs and jousting and all the fun renaissance stuff. It was so funny. We were walking by and there's a whole bunch of ladies just crafting away. And um, this one gentleman was um, standing behind a woman who was weaving a basket. And um, Scarlett was interested. She wanted to go see what she was doing. So we walk over and my son's like, wait a minute. If you're a boy. You're not supposed to be here. And he's like, why not? And he goes, because this is the girl stuff. And he's like, oh, no, no. What I'm doing is what men used to do when we would make tables. So he was talking to Jonah about how they used to hand carve wood. I mean, not that they used to, because they still do. It's just not, you know, as commonly known as it is to do everything machine made. Um, oh, my gosh. Jonah was, like, in awe of what this guy was doing with the, um, it was, like, this huge wooden, me like, mechanism. And he would push and this huge pedal would come down and it had a rope tied to it and that rope was wrapped around the leg so as he was going it was spinning the leg and he had this little chisel that he was sticking up to it and he was carving it and um I've never seen anything like that either I've seen people you know hand carve wood but it was all in their hands never by a machine of that sort not really machine because obviously the guy did it all himself but you guys get what I'm saying so Jonah was just in complete awe that the guy was making table legs. And he's like, Mom, that's so neat. I'm like, isn't it, though? Don't you want to do that? And he's like, I might. I think I want to come work here and do that. It's a lot of hard work. It's not as easy as you think it is. So Jonah was, like, completely shocked. He loved it. So funny. And then we got him, a, um, like, a Robin Hood hat which is really cute. He really likes that one. And all the girls got their little wreaths with the flowers and the ribbons. 
that because all of you are crafters, you know my frustration because I'm looking at these going, you're selling these for 15 to $30 a piece, and I can run to Michael's and make these myself, but to support a fellow crafter, I will buy them. So we did. All the girls got wreaths, and Jonah got his Robin Hood hat, which is in blue to match his cast. So, probably should have gessoed these first, but that's alright. Not that big of a deal. I want that glob out of there, though. So, I so love each and every one of you, by the way, because I love the fact that you guys are commenting that you don't mind that my videos are long. And that, surprisingly enough, none of you think they're boring. Because I was getting a little worried. I was telling my husband, I was like, I think I'm running out of stuff to talk about. He's like, you're running out of stuff to talk about? I'm like, yeah, I think so. I feel like I'm getting more and more quiet during my videos. He goes, maybe it's because you're doing them really late and you're not thinking anymore. So that could be as well. <laughs> that could do it. All right, I think I shook I was getting a little more water than I wanted. So hopefully I don't get a little more paint. Usually I just finger paint these things. I have a feeling that's what I'm going to end up doing because I'm getting too many globs. Come on, little guy, get out of there. Yeah, see, here I am getting quiet. I don't I feel like I have I got nothing. But then, I, like I said, I always go back and I watch the videos and I'm like, dude, you're like non-stop talking. And the worst part is, honestly, is that because I don't know how to edit and I just, you know, I don't want to edit. I want to talk and hang out with each and every one of you like I would any of my own friends sitting at, you know, in my crazy thing called a craft room. Um, I just want to sit and chit chat with you guys. And... Half the time when I leave my friend's house or my friends leave my house, I can't remember what any of us talked about either. So, this is like perfect. I don't like that I can't get those big old globs out of the center there. Get out. Or maybe it's just my eyeballs and I can't see it right. some finger painting because this isn't working. <laughs> Maybe. It's not coming out as bright as I'm hoping, I think. That might have been too much. And I really like these soy paints. I got I was lucky. I got them on clearance at um Joann's. I believe it was Joann's. And I saw them and I grabbed what colors they had and I love these things. They have a bit of a smell to them. Not quite sure what that smell is. It's not bad, it's just different, I think. They dry really quickly, they go on really nicely, and I am a hot mess. Because that's what I do. So I'm hoping to at least get this top part done. Those are my fingers crossed. Um... <laughs> Because I feel like I'm moving really, really, really slowly in these videos. These last couple of videos, anyway. I mean, the first one was completely just, really? <laughs> all I did was gesso. And then, you know, my second video, all I did was the lace and the beading. Because I took off the beading and redid the beading. And so, I want to make sure I feel like I accomplished something by the time this one's done. And I just found out we're going to go see Grandma on Tuesday. Today is technically Sunday since it's 2 a.m. And uh, so I want to make sure this is done before we go see her. But I want to do it with all of you guys. So you guys are going to get a lot of extra videos this week. And, oh man, I just sent you a message back to the message that you left on the video. Was it Kim? 
Patty? One of you two ladies suggested that I do the Prima Romance. And you know what? I have a little bit of that. And I think you're right. I think that might go really well with the inside of this box. So I'm going to take that out. Once we get to the inside, that probably won't be tonight. Because I am not that quick. Um, but once we get to the inside, I think I might grab some of that and tear it up and put it on the inside as well. I think that would be really pretty. I got you down with the lots of flowers and the lots of pearls. And, you know, a little bit of trim. I don't know about a lot. Because... I don't know, man. You guys are, like, amazing when it comes to layering up trims. And when I try, it just doesn't look right to me. I don't know. It's all part of the learning process, I suppose. Still learning out what my forte is, because I don't know what it is yet. I think I'm kind of all over the place. I want to learn, like, when we went to the Renaissance Fair today, I was like, oh, I want to learn how to do that. Chain mail. What? Chain mail, yeah, headpieces, necklaces, breastplates, I mean, the stuff these ladies do, and gentlemen, because there were a lot of crafters that were there that were guys that are just amazing, painters and blacksmiths, and I mean, not that I could ever, you know, be a painter, or, I mean, I'm painting, but that's not what I mean, um, <laughs> painting and doing blacksmith work and like this one lady was um weaving a basket on like this not a basket a blank a blanket or a kilt oh snap i can't remember what she said now huge 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 machine and it's all a whole bunch of strings just going through this machine and she's literally one by one in and out of all these strings and i'm just going i you know i like to think that i have patience and I'm building a lot of patience when it comes to crafting because, like I said, you know, way back in the videos, um, when I first started crafting, if I made a mistake, I threw it away and then I cried because I felt like this wasn't something I was good enough to do. And then I came to realize that you can't really do it wrong. You might do something you don't like. You, you know, you might do a few projects that you're just looking at it going, yeah, this isn't exactly coming out the way I had it in mind doesn't mean it's wrong. Just means it didn't come out the way you wanted it to. And that's okay. Oh, don't spill. Whew. Soy paint is really thick. So when you tip the bottle, the paint doesn't spill out as fast as you think it would. <laughs> Thank goodness. And I think I want this one a little bit darker. I don't like how light that is. It kind of just bleh into the box, if that makes sense. And I have a cup of water. Or I should say I had maybe give it okay sorry guys I'm still working on the whole view thing and trying to remember where my boundaries are so you guys don't see me but for some reason I always have to lean over to grab something so long black hair don't mind the white cuz it's there all right okay Something, oh, duh, I just put my paintbrush away after saying I wanted to find something for this. Just kidding. Okay, let's see what we have that we can darken that up just a little bit. So maybe a little bit shimmery. Shimmery is always good, right? So I bought a whole bunch of mica powders on joannes.com. And um, I guess I should start by saying what company. Lindy's Stamp Gang Mica Powders. I was shocked. I didn't know Joann's sold Lindy's. Now, they don't have a huge selection, but they have a decent selection of, you know, I have no idea where to put this so I don't... Okay, please don't topple over. Stay. Okay. Um, you have totally lost train of thought. You like how that works? It literally goes just that quick. Um... Oh, mica powders, joannes.com. Um, I didn't know that they sold Lindy's. I just happened to be looking around, and I was on their website, and sometimes when you look down below, it'll say suggested things that you might like, and Lindy's Stamp Gang was on there, and I was shocked. So they had, they had it on sale, 50% off, so it was like, 
I think it was like 18 something for one thing of mica powders. And there's little, they're just little containers. And I should have grabbed one so I could show you. But um, I think everybody knows what those look like. Um, it's a tube of usually five or six. And they're just little powders. You can mix them with texture paste, gesso. I, you can mix them with anything. Water. They're amazing products. And I decided to buy all of the ones that they had, and they had nine of them. Um, but they had them on 50% off, because it was 50% off all paper crafting things, and they were included in the sale. So this, the price jumped down to like eight fifty, and then I got a 25% off for signing up with their newsletter. So I got them for like dirt cheap. I got all nine of them for like 60 bucks. So I made my own sprays. And I may not have the exact calculation for like the Lindy Stamp Gang bottles, but they work and I like them. Sorry for the noise. But when you have to craft on a budget, which of course I have to, um, I have to find ways to get what I want at a not so expensive price, if that makes sense. So it requires a little more work. I have to put the powder in there, but I can determine how strong I want the color, which is kind of nice. Add a little extra powder in there. You're going to get a brighter color, not a brighter color, but more color. You know, add a little less. It's going to be a little watery, of course. But I think for me, to build up my collection a little bit, it was a good way to go. So I'm really glad that I did it, because now I have like a gazillion colors, not really. But I have way more colors than I did before. Mm. And I bought these little spray bottles on eBay, and I don't, see, this is where I need to start writing down the names, so when I tell you guys, it's actually helpful. Um, I bought these little bottles, they're just two ounce bottles, and I bought 72 of them for, I think it came to like 40 bucks shipping included. Forty dollars, something like that. It was like fourteen ninety nine for thirty or for. I can't do my math. Thirty six of them. I think so. Somewhere in there. But um. So I bought these and I bought seventy two of them because I had forty eight colors coming in or something like that. Because I think I got one with six. I don't know. I'm really bad at math, guys. No, forty five. Just kidding. There were forty five of them. Oh, I like that one. That one's scarlet red. Of course I like that one. Okay. So anyways, 36 wasn't going to cover it, so I just bought, you know, the second batch, which is fine because I'm going to buy more Lindy's mica powders since this works. Or I can do my alcohol um, thing that I did before, which is basically putting paint in the bottom of the bottle and filling it up with alcohol, mixing it up, and bam, you got a spray. And that works out really well, too. The only issue I have with that is that I'm allergic to alcohol. Um, rubbing alcohol, drinking alcohol, allergic to both. So, for me, the smell makes me really dizzy. So I can't use a lot of it. But when I use it with water, it just sops right into the paper. And the reason why I was trying to use the alcohol is because alcohol dries faster. So... Um, that was the reason why I was trying to use the alcohol and I completely forgot because I mean it's not something I deal with on a daily basis so I don't remember all the time I completely forgot about my allergy to it so it makes me like really really dizzy when I use them too much so I try not to um, which is another reason why I went the Lindy Stamp Gang route okay let's bring this bad boy in we're almost 20 minutes I think I'm doing okay with time try to keep an eye on the time and trying to do better that stands out a little more. I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in 
this guy, which is the Beacon 3-in-1 Fabri-Tac. Is that the same thing? I keep calling it Fabri-Tac, but I don't think that's the same thing. I think it's just the 3-in-1. Just kidding. I think so. So I'm going to glue all these guys down. This is another thing that smells really bad. But it works amazingly if I can get it out of the bottle. And I really need tips on this because does anybody else have the problem when you set the bottle down? It pops up a big old glob of glue. How do you not do that? Anybody know? Because mine likes to make popping sounds and it scares me when it pops. Because I don't expect it. And this stuff is really, it's basically like liquid glue sticks. You know how hot glue leaves all those strings behind? That's what this does. But you have a lot longer to maneuver and move around and play in case it's not in the right spot. But it's really sticky and really stringy. And of course I set it upright. I really have to remember to set my bottles on the side or just find a cup that I'm not going to use anymore and stick it in that sideways. And these little red hearts, I didn't have to paint them because they were already painted from Valentine's Day, so that was kind of nice. I'm trying to get all the glue strings off here. Not on the heart, not on the heart, get off. So and if this video goes too long and I have enough energy, I'll just keep going. Um, of course, I'll record it and just make it into like a second video. But I'm hoping to get the top done. But we all know how my thinking process works. It takes forever, so. Oh, oh, oh. Helps if I don't tip it onto my finger. kind of want, oh, don't do it. There we go. kind of want to do these back and forth. And I'm going to grab a Q-tip. Because there's a lot of glue on the inside of the heart that I want out of there. Like, okay. Alright. And I have nowhere to set this. Okay, just so it looks good. Way bigger glob than I expected. It's okay, make it work. There we go. And tilt this one this way. And I feel really bad because I, like a dingbat, didn't take a before picture. So now I can't show Grandma what it looked like before. I'm really bad about doing that have to remember before pictures, after pictures, especially when I'm altering things. Because that's like the number one question I get. Oh, well, what did it look like before? Well, I really wish I could show you, but I didn't take a picture of what it looked like before I started. So. Okay, so that's good. And it takes a while to dry, but not like, you know, forever. Once it's pretty much got a hold on there, you're okay. And I am so not using this with that. Um, what's, oh my scotch, there we go. This should hold, right? Scotch glue dry? Glue stuff? Where are my needles? What's the word I'm looking for? Scotch, scotch quick dry. That's what it is. That should hold wood down, right? Kind of, sort of, maybe, I hope. I don't have a needle nose with anything else. Not a needle nose, but a um, pointed tip. Any other glue but this one. And of course, I tried to injure myself with the needle, and the needle broke, and... 
Um, that's not going to work. Okay. Smarter than the glue bottle. Let's figure this out. Mm. What do I have to go inside? Oh, you know what? I have this little guy. This little nozzle is so dried up, too. Glossy accents. Did I throw my towel away already? No, I must have. Just kidding. Okay. Good thing I got a stack of towels here. there so I have it for later and I will use glossy accents because I know it'll dry clear not that the beacon 3-in-1 doesn't dry clear but that nozzle is way too thick and it is way too messy for me to try with this itty bitty little intricate word try to glue it down with that so I see a lot of people using glossy accents to glue down just about everything, so I'm going to try it. And cross my fingers and hope it works. Okay. So right there, and put that here. I have a thing about not putting everything down straight. I don't know what my deal is. I like everything like cockeyed. Does that make sense? And I think I'm going to do the same thing with this one, just to make it a little easier. And I wanted to put something inside that documents, documented little thing right there. I'll show you in a second. So you guys are probably like, what are you talking about right now? One second and I'll show you. Oh, don't get stuck. And this one will go on straight. Because it's kind of doing its own little curved thing. You guys see what I'm doing? Okay, good. I keep forgetting to look at my camera. Like, this little section right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Inside, ooh, the documented. I kind of want to put something there, but I don't know what I want to put there. So... That will, fingers crossed, come to me as we go. And then, I was thinking about this guy. Can I just take this guy off of here? How does this work? Oh, yep, that answers my question. Okay. And I'm going to hang on to this stick because I can glue something to the top of that and Scarlet will have a magic wand. She loves magic wands. I was thinking... This is going to be like my focal point. So center. And I just got to figure out if I like it. Don't want it to cover up too much. I'm going to like it. And then I can just do a whole bunch of little hearts. Or hearts. Oh, yeah, they. Um, flowers. Little flowers around it. Hmm. Then I was thinking of adding in some cheesecloth. See, this is why my videos are so long, because I have to think without really thinking, if that makes a bit of sense at all. So I'm going to just chop a little corner of this off, and I got this also at Joann's, and I don't know if this is technically cheesecloth. Um, let me see if I can find... Without snapping everything off. Okay. This is the original packaging. And when I saw it go on clearance, I freaked out, so I bought it. And it says sanding dust cloth. Oh, just kidding. This is what it came in. I don't know if you guys can... No, because I don't have the fancy zoom in and... Read packaging. Use to remove dust or particles before applying finishing finishes to pour paint. Yeah, this definitely doesn't sound like cheesecloth, but I've been using it as cheesecloth. 
So, it was on clearance for 99 cents, so I grabbed it. And you don't realize how much is in there until you pull it out of the package. There's, I mean, quite a bit in there. So, this will last me a while. I think I just want to drape a little bit. Maybe. I want it down below. So maybe if I go this way. And is there like a proper technique to glue down cheesecloth? Because I haven't figured that out yet either. I've seen people use Mod Podge and some people use hot glue. Um, some people just use wet glue. I am really impatient. So I don't know if there's like a proper way. So usually what I do is I just lay it down where I want it and then I glue things on top of it and that usually holds it down. I don't know if that's the right way to do it but that is how I do it okay and I'm just gonna start gluing stuff down because this is how I roll and you guys all know that by now I just stick it down And then I have a bunch of like, um, these are mason jars that were on clearance for like 60 cents at Michael's. So it holds like a lot of my, um, I don't know if you guys can see past the design, uh, if I go the right way. There's a whole bunch of little like resin flowers in there and some red beads and all of my little sprays. So I keep all those in there. And I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. Minus the white feathers. Well, we might be able to do white now that I've got some, well, I got pink feathers in there. We'll see. I got some spray, or not spray, some flowers that I pulled out that I might go around because I thought that was really pretty. Some of Grandpa's keys. Definitely want to use some of those on there. And that's going to be like the only real metal thing I put on there, I think. Minus maybe some clock keys, or clock, what are these called? Clock hands? Well, you know it's getting late when I, I can't, well, no, that's not true. I can't really speak ever, so that's okay. I had a crown, because like I said, Grandma was always his queen. Fleur de because they've traveled. Just all sorts of crazy stuff. Kind of liked that. I was thinking of putting that on there somewhere. Don't know where yet. Some rope. Hmm. Okay. Little things at a time. Let's start here. I definitely want to add flowers. So I have my little flower bucket. And I'm just going to pull the ones out that I think will work with this project, which I kind of like these ones and those ones. Those are good filler flowers. i got to find more meaty stuff. More meaty stuff. All right, a couple more filler flowers. Just kidding. Oh, those ones are kind of pretty. Do I have those ones in there? Oh, release. Okay. Those ones are kind of cool looking. And I can always do white ones because I can just spray them to whatever color I want. I might add some of those beads in there. That one's kind of cool looking. I don't know if I'm going to add it. I have those ones in there. Got those. I'm dropping all sorts of beads from everywhere. Okay. Okay. All right. What do I have? Those ones up there yet? No, I'm not really liking those ones. Not for this project. couple leaves, but I think those ones are too dark. I might throw some cherry blossoms in there. All the leaves on the same plant as flowers. Flowers, flowers, and more flowers. Oh, those ones are pretty. Oh, wait. some of those on there. Let's see. Let 
go. No, nope, not liking that one for this project. Okay. Definitely no black. might have to get up to get some leaves because I definitely want and my flowers just literally sit in a little plastic bin I don't have a lot but I have just enough so I'm happy with it okay, so these can all sit down here and then I'll start snipping away here in a little bit let me grab some leaves um, well, you know what I see some fabric flowers that I might like too Oh. Oops. Just dropped something. It was probably not very good. Okay. Let's see, there's this one. Which has no leaves on it, of course. And I'm gonna grab this vine. Do it. Okay. Alright. Sorry guys, I hope I didn't knock anything over. Did I knock anything over? So my next door neighbor does a lot of um, wreaths, and she gives me, like, if she doesn't use leaves or vines or some extra flowers or stuff like that, she'll just knock on my door and go, hey, you want these? And I go, of course. I don't know what I'll use them for, but I will figure it out. Now this has a whole bunch of, like, these would be awesome filler flowers. I'm kind of liking that red rose. So, I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to pull it off. And move my feathers out of the way. Maybe something like this. Okay, let the feathers lie where they're going to lie. I'm going to take these off because these are just not working with me. Off you go. Okay, and then I think I'm going to snip a little bit of this off in the bottom. Please do not go on my coffee. Okay. And maybe do that. Maybe this way. Here, so I don't have to worry too much about filling around it. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for right now, and we're going to, then I see these. These look kind of pretty. So, oh, pull one of those guys off. And, see, I kind of like that. I don't know if this one's too big. That one might be too big. Looked okay once if I didn't put this one down. Maybe. See, this is where, where it starts to get crazy, people. I don't want to lose focal point of this, though. I don't want... Hmm. What to do, what to do. I'll take that one out. I kind of like this one. This one's just one in me. I like this one more. So, I think that one might go down. What else do I have? I think I have another one. I want to do two of them, though. Okay. So, I'm still kind of iffy about it. So, if I'm iffy about it, chances are I'm not going to do it. So, let's do... Maybe some of these guys, because I really like the way these look. Oh, that's still stuck on my pair of scissors. Okay. okay. Um, I have wire cutters. Those are a little bit stronger than I anticipated. Oh, don't drop. I like that more. Okay, so definitely going with these. 
I don't know if I will use all of them, but I'm going to snip them all off anyway. Because I might color some up. You shall see. Okay, this is garbage. Actually, that's not garbage. I can possibly use that. Some way, somehow, I'll figure it out. I'm kind of liking these ones poking around all over the place, though. I feel like one's missing. Maybe if I do that. Something like that. Hmm. I kind of like them white though. But I want to keep these ones white because these ones have the gemstone. You guys can see that in the center there. I like those ones. So I definitely want to keep those ones white. And then these ones also have the gemstone. Oh, if I can show you guys, kind of, sort of. So, I'm thinking maybe I'll spray these ones. What color do I spray them? Now I have to hope they... Because some flowers will hold the, the form really well, and others won't. So, I'm going to hope... Now I have to move my bouquet... So I can set this back up here and cross my fingers that it doesn't fall over. So far, so good. And my large vine can go beautiful. Don't move. Okay. As long as nothing's falling over, we're good. Grab another one of these guys. And... Oh. Close my spray drawer. Oh, these are going crazy. They're at it again. Craziest thing, they don't bark all day long. I swear. Don't bark all day long until now. Don't want, okay. I'm going to have to pull these out only because the drawer I have them in, I can't really see what's going on in there. Frolic in the forest. Steampunk Scythia. That'd actually be pretty. Okay, I'll try it. I don't know how it's gonna work. Too brown? I don't know. Hmm. Doesn't seem to like color very much. It's all kind of pooling in one spot. So, oh, 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 now it's dripping everywhere. Give me the lid. Just do that and let it unpool from everywhere and set this right here to dry. And now I'm going to be all glittery. Um, creme brulee cream. Is that really going to make a difference? I don't know. Let's find out together, shall we? Hmm? I don't really see a difference. No to that one. Let's try something else. Rudolph Nose Red and Peony Scarlet Red. We used that one. Well, it was kind of dark though. It looked good on the wood, but I don't know how it'll look against white. I'm on Rose Pink. You sound pretty. Let's try that one. And I'm okay if there's like little bits of white on there. That doesn't bother me at all. And I'll just use my finger to spread out a little more where I can. Because like I said, it's just, it's dripping all over the place. Oh, I just felt myself flick that right into my forehead. Awesome. It's okay, it can't be any worse than the day I sprayed myself in the face. That was pretty funny in case any of you missed that. I can't remember which video that was, but it was really funny. Mmm, towels there. Of course, another sip of coffee. Um, burnt orange. What is you? You are freaky Frankenlime. Okay, not bad. Well, 
No. Stop while I'm ahead. Oh my goodness, 45 minutes. Okay, so we'll get the box halfway completed, I suppose. And I think I have enough energy to keep going. I don't want to make any promises, though. That one looks good. Yeah, this is pretty much how I do it. I literally just grab a color and go, yeah, that sounds good, and just start spraying. Mm, that nozzle sounds a little squeaky. Oh, that was my eyeball. Ow. Okay. Don't flick Wendy's stamp getting into your eye. It kind of burns. Oh, I just had to say something about spraying myself in the face, didn't I? Totally jinxed myself. Okay, let's flick that way. Maybe it'll flick onto the towel instead of my face. Mm, it's kind of light, but I like it. Okay, so we'll stick with that. I like that brown tone there. I'm trying to... My fingers are going to become a hot mess, but I'm trying to dry them off in between so I don't mix up the colors too bad. Bit of bubbly. Too yellow for what I'm going for. Mm, Petals of Ireland green. Love chocolate brown. I think that one's too dark. That and poppy teal. That one sounds pretty. I don't have a lot of blue on this project though. Okay. I'm looking for another brown. Not like brown brown, but change of blue. Dark chocolate. Okay, that says dark chocolate, so let's not go there. Whale blue, forest green, rusty lantern. Oh, yeah, that's a bright color. Autumn, maple, crimson. Oops, that one looks pretty. Let's try that one. Maybe if I go under it. Yeah, that's a pretty color. I like that one. See, the thing is, is this, these flowers have like a tool on them. So when I spray on top of the tool, it just pulls into, don't do it, into one spot. So I'm just trying to spread it around a little bit. Spread the love without flicking it too much into my face or ripping the tool off. Okay, a couple layers to these petals. Come on. This one's not like twisted. Well, that's just going to have to work. Alright, I'm kind of liking the color combo. Definitely need to find that brown. If I can't find one, I will just stick with the steampunk one that I had out already. Okay, but i got to quit looking at all these other colors, because I will try to find something different. Ponderosa. Pines. Olive. No, blue. Cosmopolitan. Oh, I should have used that one. Oh well. Too late. Mmm, what are you? Clam baked beige. Perfect. It's not really a brown, but you know. It's kind of sort of what I was going for, I think. Of course, I don't ever know what I'm going for, so that doesn't really help. Okay. Oh my goodness, we're almost at 15 minutes. I don't want to rip the tool off, so don't come off now. So here we are. Okay, so I'm liking that color combination. See, and this is how I did the box, which is why I can't tell you what color I did, because that's exactly how I did it. I pulled it out one by one and went, oh yeah, that looks good. Let's spray that on there. Oh, I like that color. Let's spray a little bit of that on there, so I don't know what's on there. And then the fun part is, is trying to put them all back into my drawer and not tip them all over. Just kidding. Oh, sorry guys, that's probably loud. Oh, I so just nailed one right on the floor. Where did you go? Alright, I'll have to grab that later. Can't reach that right now. Okay. Okay, 
I'm going to dry these up just a little bit. Not enough to melt the tool and not enough to melt my hand, so just a little bit. I'm perfectly okay with them drying on the box. So this can come back down into play, and we're going to start gluing these bad boys down. And some there. Some there. I feel like you're extremely cockeyed, because you are. Okay. I'm just going to have to make that work, because I already set it down. I have any more of those. So that's where the rest of these buffers come into play. So let's snip these guys off. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh. Test of hand strength. Oh. Doesn't help that I've been crocheting like a mad woman lately either. These go in here. And I'll save those in case I can use them. And these I definitely want to keep white. And I'm going to fill one there. And I'm going to fill one right next to it. Stay down. And I'm going to fill one up here. And one right next to it. And I have a glue string that's stuck somewhere that's like attacking the entire box. Okay, off you go. Alright, so, oh, those aren't staying down. Not yet. Okay. And then, I think I want one of these. And I don't know why I just grabbed my scissors. Just kidding. I want one of these right here. Do I like you? Do I? Hmm. This is the question. I squeeze one in over here to balance it. Here's the crazy part. I'm really not big on balancing. I don't know why. It just doesn't bother me. The balance is great, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, I'm just going to stick the one down. Because I just feel like I need a filler piece right over there. So, I, like, I hear, like, the rule of thumb is you always do things in threes. catch the person's eye or, you know, things like that. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just weird in that way. Um, I don't get it. Um, I've, I've tried looking at like different projects that do two versus three and I, they both look beautiful to me. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what the difference is. And it just got really warm in my office all of a sudden. So I'm going to tie my hair in a knot because I don't know what I did with my remote to turn up my fan. And you know what, come to think of it, that's probably what dropped and hit the floor. That wonderful remote that was, you know, my lifesaver when my light would turn itself off. Okay, there it is. Let's turn that up. It is what dropped, okay. Um, I really like this one though, so I definitely want another one in there. And I think I am going to squeeze it between these two, just because I can. Okay. Alright, it's coming together, coming together, very shabby chic-ish, which is what I was going for, I think. At least that's how I think it's looking. And then, I guess the feathers stick down just a little bit. I don't want them to break off. Um, I grabbed some, like, beads. And flowers can hang out for a second. I have a ton more pearls. I have a ton more flowers to work with. I was kind of thinking of adding some of these rhinestones in here. 
don't know where. It's like he goes in there somewhere. Oh, wait. Nope. Not if I lose it. Okay, come back. Alright. Let me add a couple more flowers in there first. Oh, God. Just my arm is in the way. Yay. It's one of those. Wait. Okay. Let's do maybe a couple of these. Mm, I like these ones. Let's do a couple of these. Way off. I don't snip my finger first. One, two, and what else do I have? Okay. Oh, these ones. These are pretty. A couple of blue. And is there anything else in there? I have the feathery one, but I don't think I'm going to add that one. I might add this in somewhere. Kind of liking the sprays on it. So I'm going to snip one down at the bottom. Oh. I don't want to add too much at the top because I have to keep in mind the box has to be able to open. But I might. Something like that. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? I also brought these over. Kind of like the butterflies. Hmm. I brought these over so I can do them on the side. So I have these ones too. Oh, so many choices. So little time. So, for those of you who don't know, my New Year's resolution was to try to use something out of each package. I'm not trying to use up my entire stash, just, you know, if I use one butterfly out of this package, I'm good with it for the year. Does that make sense? If I use one piece of paper out of the pad, I've used it for the year. That's the game plan. Is it going to work? I don't know. But I think so far I've been doing pretty good. I think. The problem that I'm having is I can't remember what I've already used. That's where the issue comes in that I didn't think about because my memory is oh so not great. I have a missing flower. There we go. That one will look good. Mm. All right. Let's go here. Okay, you're not on. Not yet. Okay, and then these ones, I have the cherry blossoms, let's do these guys. Okay, and this one, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, oh. glue started spinning. Okay, let's do that one up there. And then I use the blue one. Let's do that one right there. Oh, that was totally pink, I'm colorblind apparently. Just kidding. That one can go there. I have some mint ones up there too, I just spotted. Oi! Stabbed myself. Don't do it. I swear I cause more injury to myself crafting than I do anything else. Okay, I'm at my one hour mark. And let me do the cherry blossoms before we go. I feel like I need something right there. And let's go right there. Okay. So this is as far as we got, which I, I feel like I got a lot accomplished today. I'm very proud. I feel like this is lifting up and I don't like it. So I'm going to get right under there and stick a whole bunch of glue down. Perfect. Okay. I feel like we got a lot accomplished. Glued down the wood embellishments. Did the front of the box. I don't know if you guys can really see it okay. Tons of flowers. Just kind of mixed, mashed, mushed in there. Feathers. We got it going. I feel like I got a lot more accomplished today. I hope you guys like it so far. I think that I am going to keep trucking along. 
I, well, maybe I should probably look at this and see if I have any missing spots. I see a few. I see a few in there that I'm going to add more flowers to. So, alright, I'm going to stop it here, guys, so that way you guys aren't with me way too long. And um, I'm going to keep recording. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.